Today, we are going to take to same Cadillac CT5V model. Starting with an FBX file and view it in augmented reality two separate ways. Let's start with the FBX file. This FBX file does not have any detailed finishes like paint, chrome, rubber, glass, etc. However, all of the detail is there to apply these finishes such as leather on these seats, carbon fiber and wood grain on the dash, and tinted glass on the windows along with much more. Method 1 This method is an app called Caddy. Caddy gives you the ability to manipulate the model using hand tracking methods. Caddy also has the ability to explode the views. Once the model is exploded, you can manipulate it separately part by part. All of these individual parts can be moved, scaled, rotated and measured independently of each other. There currently is no options to apply any finishes to any of these parts, making it look more realistic. A much needed feature is the ability to grab this car body and apply a paint finish to it. Grabbing the rims you need to be able to apply chrome or powder coat, as well as rubber to the tires. The hand tracking still can be tricky at times. You can however scale these parts separately, which would make it really nice to apply finishes. Once you are finished with the individual parts, they go back together with another hand gesture just as easy as this. Method 2 Using the exact same FBX model, it imports into Caddy's competition much easier. Caddy's competition also has the ability to apply all of the finches to the highest level of detail, making the experience much more realistic. Let's look at the difference in the experience alone. See the imported FBX file. Sitting next to a diecast model on my desk, I have already applied these finishes to the FBX model imported. If you are interested in seeing that done, make sure you check out my other videos. The realism of these finishes would make it hard pressed to tell the difference between this and the real one in the parking lot outside. The same exploded functionality is also in Caddy's competitions. Bag of goods as well. Though the manipulation of this model through augmented reality is currently limited to a laser pointer from the Oculus hand controls, I would be keeping an eye out. In the future of the added feature of hand tracking methods similar to its competitors, See how having the ability to apply finishes adds to the realism of the experience. There are more features to both methods not covered in this video. If you would like to see them, please refer to my other videos. This video covered importing an FBX file and the realism of the experience alone. In another video, we will be showing the difference between importing IFC, 3DDWG and Revit files showing the difference between the two platforms as well. If you enjoyed this video, and you are interested in seeing more please like and subscribe to Centerline Designs YouTube channel.